Hello and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we'll see about XXE attack, which is XML external entity attack. So first of all, you can see the bunch of a gibberish over here that is written. That is, it is a type of a server side request forgery attack, which is SSRF attack, where the attacker is able to cause the denial of services. So this is a bunch of gibberish. I've just included to just make you are basically giving you understanding about these terms some of these terms but all you need to know is from here so it is saying that it is used to assess the local and the remote files that means it allows us to enclose some of these files like local that is a client files or the server files or the services by abusing or basically using that is the feature of xml parsers so these are the parsers or a compiler that is going to execute our xml code so we'll basically make use of xml payload to enclose some of these files of the server and the client and this is the xxe attack so basically it is going to be this attack so let's see about what is the xml so first of all xml is a vastly used format data or basically the format which is found in everything that is from the web services that can be the soap or the race services to the documents every documents and the image file so this is the data format so xml is a type of format where you just store the data and its uses from different web services to document to basically all image files so naturally where there is xml there is a xml parser that is bound with it which will just execute your xml code so we'll just take advantage of this xml parser to execute our xml payload which will just get us some of the files which can be the server files or the client files so let's see how this works so we'll see how this works in the detail in the next lecture but see let's see what this request and response would be so you can see here this is the post method that means you are giving something over here with this command so if you just remember something like in the case of html there can be let me say paragraph so that can be the paragraph field you'll just write something in the paragraph you'll just enclose or basically close that paragraph field right here but in the case of this xml the tags are basically user defined so it is not predefined as of html so you can define any tag in the case of xml so this is your xml code over here so when you just pass this xml code the response which is given by the xml parser would be only the hello world because it is going to parse the text inside your or basically what is inside this field or basically what is inside this entity or the tag so this is the work of xml parser let's see in the detail how this works with the simple picture over here so let me just show you the simple picture right here so first of all you could see here that it is a file system that contains the password so basically this is the server server file system which contains this password field and this is the hacker so hacker will just do something like xml parser basically it will just give the xml code which is in the form of xml external entity and it will just pass this to the xml parser and parser will execute that xml code it will retrieve that system file and it will show that back to the hacker in this format that is just hidden or basically that is inside this file system so all you need to do in the xml external entity attack is simply make the payload in the xml pass it in the field that is vulnerable it will just get that xxe attack and it will just retype that file from the file system give it back to the hackers so we'll see how this work how the xxe work in particularly in the next lecture in the lab section and basically we'll see how this work how to exploit and see how to make the payloads how to inject the payload how to make use of a burp suit and the intruder of the burp suit to inject the payload of xml and see how this xxe attack work in live websites so see you in the next one now let's see xml external entity attack in live action so here in this lecture we'll see in the lab so i found this wonderful lab for us to test so you can simply go to this website that is pen tester lab and it is inside this exercise so 
after that we must go inside maybe wait for pen tester so this is our final website so all you need to do is simply download this iso file simply click here to download the file i have already downloaded so you can simply uh, press ok to download this file it will just give the link you can start the download to the file and after you download you will just get this iso file in the drive where you just stored this so after that you have to first of all okay so let me just go here real quick so after you just download that all you get is uh, the virtual box we have already downloaded the virtual box from the previous couple of lectures and now first of all you simply click on this new and give any name so you can just give something like this too so in my case i have already made the virtual box for this so next one is the linux over here type would be linux and it should be debian 64 for me so next is to simply give 1 gb so 1 gb is enough for this so you can simply give the something in mb2 something like 512 mb so next so i'll just create this so next i want dynamically allocated so next one will be 8 gb so create so after that you will just get this up and running here but first you have to just load that iso file so simply go to the storage here in the storage and click on this empty and simply load from here so in my case it would be wave for pen tester dot iso so i'll simply load this and the next one is very important you have to go in the network so it should be here network and simply press a bridged adapter over here otherwise it won't work so if it would be net for you then it is not going to work so simply press bridge adapter click ok and simply press start but i'll just remove this one because i have already made this so when you just press this one and just show or basically when you just uh, press start it would be start for you i have so because i have already run over here so you'll just get this window and after it will load you have to press if config to see your ip address it should be something like this so it should be 192 168 and the link it will just give the ip address so all you need to do is simply put here that is ip config or if config not ip it should be uh, here let me show you if config when you just press that you'll just get here that is the ip address in this e 0 or basically where you can simply see here so this should be your ip address copy this ip so you need to copy this ip address and go to your windows or mac or or, or it can be linux open the web browser and in the web browser you can simply paste that ip address when you hit enter then you will just get this home page for pen tester lab so over here we have a bunch of exercises you can see all the exercises that is we have already done that can be the exercise attack so you can also simply go to this example in the exercise and you can see that in this field because this is the parameter name so you can see that it has uh, injected the hacker so if i just say sachin then it will say that hello sachin over here that means it has a reflection that means it has reflected excesses so simply put your simple payload here so i'll just say script and alert give one here or any payload you want to load and when i just press enter then you will see that one yards reflect over here so this would be a couple of exercises you can test over here but now we can see that is xml attacks over here so we'll see xml ext or xml external entity attack in this lecture that means we'll just go to this xml attacks and simply press this example one so in this example you can see that we have a link and it has a parameter of xml so let's inject something over here so you can see it has injected some unique code over here or based on that xml code because we know in the xml code the tag are user defined it is not the predefined as the case of html if it was html you cannot make this test a tag 
it should be predefined that is defined by the language itself but in the case of xml it can be user defined so let's make other code over here so let me just open my sublime and here i'll just go over here and let me just make a user defined code so let me say udemy and i'll say hey and udemy again so this is your xml code so let me just copy this and instead of test you can paste your own link over here so when i just press that you could see this it changed to hello hey so you can say something like udemy again when i just press enter then you could see hello udemy over here so it has a reflection in this web content but we can do something like the web or basically use of some payload of the xml to extract some of the useful information so let's make our own xml external entity attack code so we'll just make our own payload now and let me just open the sublime again so first i'll just make use of this doc type and after that i'll make use of something like text so it can be anything for you so you can just put anything over here so i'm just making a costume tag that is name with test and i'll just open this entity tag and after that i simply pass xce which is also the given the name for which this file will be stored so we'll just make use of some system keyword so i'll just tell you in a moment what this system is so first of all just let me put the file name real quick over here so the file i want to extract from the server is its etc file or folder and inside this etc i want to extract password so this would be file and after that i'll just close this entity and let me just close again this one after that i have to make my external entity or basically the xml code so let me simply make something like test so i'll just make test i want to inject this content of password into xxe file so i have just stored over here and let me just close this first and after that i want to close my test so you could see we have completed our payload over here so the most important thing over here is this system keyword so system keyword is the keyword that tells cxml parser that it want to fetch this file from the server so we have already said in the theory section in the early lecture of this section that we want to extract something from the server or something from the remote or local file then we make use of xml parser so xml parser will see this system keyword and it will just fetch this file or basically the system file and it will just store in this xe and we'll see the content of this in the web content so instead of this hello udemy we'll see the content so instead of udemy not only hello was basically the predefined content of this page so instead of udemy we'll see the whole content of xxe over here which is basically the content of the password inside this etc folder or etc folder so let me just copy this so this is our payload so i'll just go to the browser so now we have to first encode this so in order to make encoding i'll use something like encoder decoder so let me just search for url encoder decoder let me just go to this website and here i'll just paste our payload which is the same payload i'll just encode this and let me just copy this now i'll just copy this and instead of this file that we just injected we want to inject the encoded url so i'll just put here encoded payload and i'll just hit enter then you could see we just got this root ss so this is the content so from here from this root to this is the content of that folder or basically which is the folder or basically content of this pay password 
So you can see that we have now printed the password content with the help of this system keyword that will tell the XML parser to just reflect this password field or basically the content of password in this browser. So you can see we have got successfully the password field or basically the content of password with this attack over here which is XML external entity attack. So you can do something like in this payload instead of password you can also get the host content if you want the host content then you will simply change that copy that again go to the url encoder decoder paste it here and encode this and copy this again go back here so instead of this you have to paste the new file or new content of the payload or encoded content basically and if i just hit enter it will be the content of the host so you can see the server is running the local host debian and this is the content of this host which is inside this etc folder so you have successfully got the content of x x e which is basically giving the content of the remote file which is hosted in the server with this content you can also assess all the file system of the server with this simple attack which is named as xml external entity which will tell the parser to face the system file system or basically to face the system file with this simple payload so this is the type of the external xml entity so we just got uh, the attack here we see the content of this password and we also see the content of this host so you can also simply go to the next example and source for the xml attack or basically you can also see some of the examples in this lab so you can see for the xss make your own payload execute that the xss attack you can see for this xml attack so i'll see you in the next one